iCoustic, creating quieter spaces together. Science is everything. I think what sets us apart all the time is the amount of testing we carry out. No one likes to mislead anyone. So having the backup of the test data and knowing that our products are, are really good at what they do, it makes it very easy to talk about them and market them because we know that they work, know that they work very well. Observation, collecting data, analysing that data. To validate a feeling that you might have, we, we think this product will work really well here. Unless you test it and get that data, then it's just a hunch. And you might be right, but you could be wrong. So you have to test your products. So sometimes the basic principles of science or physics are really key to how we want to stop the sound getting through. Sound really is just a form of energy, but instead of a wave that we think of it, the truth is it's a longitudinal wave, which is a compression. So if you think about a slinky spring, you're pushing and pulling back to create a compression. So something creates the impulse, it then starts to move towards us, hits our ear. We can hear a sound roughly 20 hertz, that's how many vibrations a second, up to 20,000 hertz, 20,000 vibrations a second. What we've got here is a tiny little music box. So when I turn this, it creates a sound. Now there's not a lot of energy, so you can't hear it very easily. It's a bit like a guitar string, if you pluck a string. There's not a lot of air being moved, so you can't really hear it. But if you put that guitar string onto a bridge, onto a hollow body, a bit like this wooden top, and I do the same thing, it's significantly louder. Now that's good if you want a musical instrument, but it's not so good if you've got a floor that you're looking to dampen the vibration. So a lot of soundproofing is just simply trying to sit between what's creating the noise and your floor, or wall, or ceiling. You can't suspend it in the air, but you could put a pad of material, and that would then reduce the noise. It's surprising how differently products can work in different situations. When we do testing, we like to get all the variants. So we've maybe tested 15, 20 different variants on the actual product, but also in different situations. Um, timber constructions, concrete constructions, sound travel in different ways. So if we know how this one system, one very basic system works, we can then change some of the properties of one of the elements of that system, either by changing, say, the spacing of the studs or the spacing of the mute clips that we've got. We should be able to see how that affects the sound going, passing through the system, and therefore be better at soundproofing. So working out what the issue is, we can tailor the solution to fit within their building as well as the space requirements and obviously the budget of the customer as well. So factoring a lot of things in to find a, a solution that works. Acoustic, creating quieter spaces together.